My name is Reinhold Beringer. I am Professor of Creative Technology at the Faculty of Arts, Environment Technology in the School of Computing, Creative Technology and Engineering. Earlier today, we received six packages with submissions to the Sutton Impact Challenge, and we are going to test them and evaluate them according to certain criteria that are set out in the challenge. I have the first device here that is a skier impact monitor. That means it's a device that is mounted on a helmet and can measure the impact that a skier may experience while skiing and falling. Can be used for other uh, sports as well. Um, there is the device itself. It's very small to be mounted on the helmet. It comes with a charger base software we'll have to install and there's some instructions given by Hendrik, Hendrik Lipka from Germany who made this device. I would like you now to meet the other team members who will introduce other um, devices that have been sent. Hello, I'm Julian Old and I'm a senior lecturer in the School of Creative Technology and Engineering and I'm going to be looking at uh, one of these uh, submissions to the Sudden Impact challenge. This particular one is from uh, Cosmin Iorga and he supplied us with quite a few bits and pieces here. We have clearly a helmet with the majority of the electronics mounted on here and internally various sensors. We have a separate unit which is chest mounted, something like this, and this measures all sorts of parameters. We have head acceleration, impact on the head, uh, motion of the athlete falling down, lying down on the ground, heart rate, clearly from here, um, oxygen saturation of the blood, respiratory rate, body temperature, and GPS location. So. A, uh, a very um, comprehensive set of physiological measurements being made by Cosmin. He's uh, provided a set of setup instructions here, which we're very grateful for because it's uh, quite a complicated looking setup. Uh, hello, uh, my name is uh, Nasus Bissas. Uh, I'm a principal lecturer in sport biomechanics within the School of Sport uh, at the Carnegie Faculty. Um, I'm here just to check out one of the devices. Um, this is uh, from uh, Ravi Bhutani from India. And uh, quite exciting actually, because uh, it does a, a range of different things. Uh, I think this is the um, main unit. Uh, it's uh, chest mounted and uh, the main unit, I believe, um, records three different things uh, at the same time. So we have a sensor within it, which is an accelerometer, and it will capture uh, spine forces in three directions. At the same time, there are uh, two electrodes to record uh, ECG, and there's a temperature sensor as well. So this is the main unit around the chest. Now, uh, there is an additional module, which is this one here, that is going to be fitted to a helmet. Uh, I suspect uh, different types of helmets could be used because the whole concept is to be uh, applicable to different sports. And um, this is to measure just uh, acceleration, i.e. impact uh, on the helmet. And I believe from reading briefly through the instructions, the signal from this mini module will travel to the main one and then eventually will be you know, captured by the, uh, the computer. I've got the electronics to support it and obviously uh, the relevant uh, uh, CD with the instructions. So I'm really looking forward to, to test the device. Hi, my name is Jo Hudson. I'm a sport and exercise psychology senior lecturer in the Carnegie faculty and the School of Sport. I'm the fourth member on the panel. So the uh, device that I'm going to show you is from uh, an American entrant. It's a guy called Austin Horning, and this measures heart rate and impact. Uh, so this is worn uh, around the torso, 
with the electrodes that will pick up the heart rates that are worn five, four to five inches from the center of the chest. Uh, and these communicate to um, an Arduino board. I'm not an engineer. Um, so this is a simple and elegant uh, device. And uh, it connects up to an app. So we've got to find out a little bit more about how that kind of works. So um, yeah, we look forward to finding that out. Hello, I'm Mike Gray, Principal Lecturer in Sport and Exercise Science in the Carnegie Faculty in the School of Sport, and I'm the fifth panel member. I'm gonna look at a device by Douglas Wong from Canada. Uh, first of all, Douglas has planned to measure heart rate, which is a key measure in sport and exercise science. It tells you about the intensity of activity, and it's directly related to energy expenditure. This device has three skin electrodes, and they're gonna sit on the chest. As the heart contracts, a wave of electricity passes through the heart, into the skin, and we can measure that, and that will be recorded and displayed on this device. Douglas is also interested in sudden impacts, and this is a helmet impact device. So this is going to uh, be fixed to a helmet. Uh, it could be ice hockey, uh, motor racing, American football. So it's gonna sit on the head. The sensor in here will measure deacceleration and tell us about the force on the head and on the brain. And that's a very uh, topical area in terms of head injury. Okay, the final device in that list of six devices is uh, sent by Dragan Knezevic uh, from Serbia. And this is an impact monitor which can be mounted uh, either on a helmet or on the body of the person who's wearing that. This is the device itself. Um, it is sealed and can be switched on. It communicates to a Raspberry Pi computer. And this Raspberry Pi, Pi computer um, has then a Wi Fi link and can then therefore distribute the information to another system there. The instructions are, um, have been sent online and we will evaluate them and look at the details and when we test the device then we'll check if um, the device is working properly and if um, it does what it's supposed to do. So our next steps now are that we will take the devices to our specialized labs and we'll do the evaluation according to the criteria set out. That will require us to power up the devices, to follow the instructions that each um, submitter has given and then test the functionality according to what they say they did. Um, that will be our task next and that will take some time because we need to uh, carefully um, power up the devices, follow these instructions there and then do the required testing in terms of network communication, in terms of data that they produce and uh, we will then come to a conclusion which device uh, will get a certain score. We will produce this information um, and it will be online. Uh, we will, uh, you can look at the uh, Element 14 website which has more information about each of these devices plus we will give some update on the progress of our testing there.